Welcome to another edition <laughs> of SoCal Sense. I'm Jeff, and I'm joined today with the lovely Jade. Jade, welcome back to today's video and as a guest. Um, today we're going to be doing some gentlemanly fragrances or gentlemanly citrus fragrances. Okay. And you're going to let us know what you think of these uh, these gentleman fragrances. Awesome. Let's do it. Okay. Ready for the first one? Ready. All right. Let everyone know. What do you think of this one? Okay. Great place to start. I'm getting like licorice leather scent. It's definitely a distinguished gentleman, but not, but it can be any age. Um, this is just like a really confident person. I love the musk that this is developing with into. Yeah. Um, I, I get black licorice and I love black licorice. Um, my mom gets me a whole bag of Easter egg black jelly beans. Um, I'm going to start this at a seven. This is, this is nice. This is sexy. Cool. This is uh, Bottega Veneta Illusion or Illusion. Or... Illusion. Next up, let everyone know what you think of this one. Interesting. I don't care for it as much as the first. Um, this seems more mature without being able to go across the spectrum. This is definitely an older guy. Um, it's, I don't know how I even feel about it. It's a, I, I don't know. I, I'm not a big fan of this. Um, yes, it's spicy, fresh. It, it's spicy, but not in the ways that I enjoy. Um, yeah, it's very, uh, I'm I'm not crazy about this. I'm gonna actually give it a four. Cool. Yeah. So this is a uh, Viking Cologne. It's, okay. The original one is kind of barber shoppy. It's a very spicy, spicy fragrance, and then mm -hmm. this is the freshened up version of it. Um, so to me, it, it smells like a uh, a more modern barber shop fragrance. So like. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. Um, Did you say five or four? A, f a four. Because I don't I don't like being too like right in the middle. So not your style. Fragrance. It's not my style. No. Cool. Viking Cologne. <laughs> Next up, let everyone know what you think of this one. Okay. Okay, I like this. I like this. It's definitely got that, it's a strong spice out the gate. Yeah. Um, very smoky, very musky, but that's what I'm super into. But citrus based. It has that element, yeah. which is why I don't care for it as much as the first scent. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this at a six. It's, it's dependable, um, but it's not as inviting on the initial spray. Yeah. That like I prefer. Yeah, I picture a guy in a suit going to work. Definitely. At a, like a con like um, a big like business convention. like convention type of thing. For sure. Like it definitely feels like someone who's like, you know, I got this type of fragrance. I would, I said dependable, yeah. right? Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. That's 100% what this is. Mm -hmm. And this is Aqua de Parma's Colonia Futura. Futura. All right. The next one Jade is going to smell. Let everyone know what you think of this one. Hmm. It's very multifaceted. Um, that's the first thought I thought of when I smelled yeah, it. Yeah, it's it's intriguing though, so that's good. Um, I definitely get the freshness. I definitely get the citrus on this, mm -hmm. but it ha it's well blended with the musky elements that I like. Yeah. Um, it's developed. Oh, this one's gonna change a lot. It's getting more citrusy by the second too, um, which that always reminds me to like day. This almost. If anyone's been into California and you said the soaring over California ride, it almost smells like when they you go over the orange, the orange groves. groves. Yeah, um, it's going really strongly in that direction. But orange is my favorite color. I love it. So this is fun. Um, but this would definitely be day, spring, summer. Yeah. Um, 100%. A hundred percent. This is not a cold weather fragrance. No, ladies and gents. But I would give this an eight. This is um, this is really lovely. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. The first time I tried it, I, I dug it too, because the more you smell it, the more you kind of pick up. There's apparently a lot of different notes in this one, like a ton. 
Um, it'll yeah. be, I'll have them all listed down below. But like, but it's interesting. The more you smell it, the more you're like, oh, there's uh, that. That's yeah. what I'm saying. They all, they're all. It's almost like a rotation. It's not like it's a well balanced scent. It just has a lot of different elements that are that come pop out. That, yes, that come out to play. Cool. This is uh, that's really fun. Roja Parfums Oligarch. Big fan. <laughs> the next one, Jade, is gonna smell. All right, if I can spray it. There we there go. There she goes. Let everyone know. Let me wave it off. Let it sit for a second. What you think of this one? Hmm. So maybe because we just transferred it, but this one's coming off pretty strong. Like the, the alcohol hasn't worn off yet in the initial spray. Yeah. Um. This is this is very mature. Like this is probably you know later on in life. Um. It is confident. It is dependable. It seems to be well balanced. Um, I still get the citrus elements, but there's my unfavorable musk in there. Yeah. Um, interesting. I'm not that crazy about this. I'm going to give this a four. Yeah. To me, it comes off as a very mature yeah. fragrance. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I only picture it on like grandpas and stuff like that like it's very old school you're gonna be a hot grandpa but yeah it's an old school style fragrance and there's nothing wrong classic. with that so if you fit within that range i feel like that's where or it, if that's your vibe I but mean, if you're a high school or college or 20s it's heavy too so this is like it i would definitely be older age range and like nighttime yeah like, if you're um, under 30 it's gonna be weird I yeah like. i still don't I, even under 40 i would say questionable I yeah. get the citrus elements, but it's also very removed from everything else I've smelled so far. Yeah. It doesn't have that brightness to it. Um, it's a little more reserved. So four out of 10? Yeah, not my favorite. So we'll see how it settles. It might improve, but you, yeah. we never know. We just filmed Those a video the where she hated a fragrance on the opening and then it ended up being the favorite, favorite fragrance on the dry down. So we'll, we'll wait till the dry down, see if it's- You never know, but off the bat, so this is Terre Hermes Eau de Toilette. Next up, let's get this going. There we go. Let everyone know what you think of this one. Hmm. I'm getting like initial like spearmint, um, kind of definitely outdoorsy, light refreshing, mm -hmm. um, but a little bit more woodsy. This one's changing too. Yeah. Um, I like this. This is nice. This is, um, I'm gonna give it a seven. Okay. It's like pretty well balanced. It's not So gonna... you're kind of digging this one. Yeah, no, I'm digging it. Cool. It's not gonna be like off the top of my head immediately a favorite, but this is this is lovely. This is attractive. Awesome. So this is Jean Bravado's Artisan XX. Cool. And it came out, I think, right during 2020 and it's in a fun bottle. So Artisan XX. And we're actually gonna do a bonus one today. Let me know what you think of this one. We normally do six, this is the seventh one, so Merry Christmas. Lucky number <laughs> seven. Okay, this is fun. This has that mysterious musk that I absolutely adore. Um, it's almost cinnamony, woodsy. Um, it's still fresh. Um, so I think this could be worn day or night mm -hmm. and transcend seasons. Um, this one's really sexy. I'm going to yeah. give this guy an eight. I'm going to give him an eight. All right. That's awesome. So it's tied for first right now yeah. for you. Cool. This is uh, German Street. I think it's German. German Street uh, by Flores Fragrances. That's a good time. Yeah. We're back on the dry downs. Jade's going to let us know if she likes it better, worse, or the same. Stay. Here is Bottega Veneta Illusion. Or Illusion. Ooh, this one's settled. So, and I still love it. I still love the initial profile. It's still serving, but it just, mm -hmm. it cooled in a good way. I'm gonna take it from a seven to an eight, so I like it a little bit more. Cool. All right, we have uh, Bike and Cologne. I don't, I know, I, I still just don't dig this one. Yeah, I, this isn't for me, unfortunately. Um, 
the, the new profile still not a favorite. I'm gonna keep it the same in a four. Cool. Uh, this is um, Oligarch by Rosa Parfums. This was your favorite on the opening. Well, tied for your favorite. I'm getting more of a powdery element and then the citrus pop even more. Um, I still love it, but I'm gonna keep it the same. Cool. Then we have um, Colonia Futura by Aqua de Parma. Um, I don't like what this changed into. Okay, so it was at a um, six. It was at a six. I'm gonna actually take this down to a four. It's a little too just abrasive for me. Okay. And it's got like a weird, uh, like kind of leather, which I normally dig, but it's just not mirroring the other scents correctly. Cool. <laughs> then we have um, Terre de Hermes, uh, Eau de Toilette. Interesting. This one changed for the better. But not, I mean, I scored it pretty low to begin with, so I mean, I'm gonna just put it up one out of five. So it, it mellowed it went out. From a four to a five. It went from a four to a five, so it mellowed out, but it's still not one of my favorite kinds. So of, of these fragrances, you could clearly skip this one, and Viking Cologne, you like, there's better fragrances so far. Yeah, that's just not for, yeah. not for Miss Jade. <laughs> I have the same opinion on that one. I don't really recommend that one, but I know a lot of people do like it, but it's not for me either. Um, then we have uh, XX Artisan by Jean Bravados. I could snuggle up to someone with this. I'm gonna bump it up. I really like how it Ooh, chilled. Oh, we get the tag. Yeah, so I'm gonna take it from a seven to an eight. Cool. And then last but not least, your last date was Germain Street by Floris Fragrance. Okay, interesting. So it changed in two ways for me. It got a stronger uh -huh. kind of and then it also went a little bit more feminine okay um i think this definitely could be a unisex smell i thought that to begin with um but this i don't care for it as much now okay so, so i'm gonna take it from an eight to a seven so a couple but months. you still like it i still love it it's still really cool it's just his initial intention changed yeah yeah so it's just slightly different but seven is still good for seven's you seven's great all right we got our two eights okay we have Oligarch. Okay. And then we have XX Artisan. XX Artisan. Takes the win. Yeah, it does. Nice. This one, um, th I feel like this one's a little bit more spring. This has like the woodsy like freshness and this kind of has more of that like summer, like sweet element. Yeah. Um, so maybe you can differentiate them seasonally, but yeah, th th this one's gonna take the lead. Nice. <laughs> I really, I enjoy both of those. Thank Oligarch you. surprises me whenever I wear it because I feel like the more you wear it, or the, the more you smell it, the more you pick up all the, we talked about it earlier in the video, mm -hmm. you pick up a, a lot of different things on it. And that's what I like about Oligarch. Um, but yeah, there's, there's some fun ones. They're all different, but in the same gentlemanly, fresh, citrusy way. And in my opinion too, fragrance changes a heck of a lot depending on your own chemistry too, yeah. depending on the person wearing it. So. Now, your winner today was XX Artisan. What age ranges would you picture it best suited for? I mean, you could be like mid, mid 20s to almost like mid 40s. I feel like it's pretty broad. Yeah. It's just once you come in your own, like that could be like a staple scent for someone. Just yeah. like it's, it's profound and deliberate, but not in an aggressive way. It's really attractive. Cool, awesome. Thank you, Jade. My pleasure. Be sure to follow us right down below. Take should, a look, it's should, really fun. <laughs> you, should, you should definitely follow us. I think so. And let us know which one of these have you tried and which one's your favorite from the ones that are on this list. Or you're like, you know what, my favorite was uh, Bottega Veneta Illusion. Jade liked that one too, so um, lots, lots of good choices. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye, take care.